Congratulations. I really enjoyed Angel Has Fallen, great action, but also great character pieces, especially with Nick Nolte. Mm -hmm. When you're a producer and you open up a script and you see so many personal overlaps, do you want to just rub those things out? Is it a help or hindrance? No, I, I, I love to be able to touch on the life that I've lived. I mean, sometimes it's actually me putting the pages in, not not ripping them out. You know, we, we, we sit with Rick and go, where, where, and, that, and that's what I love about Rick. He's like, let's talk about your life. Let's talk about my life. Let, let's see what are the themes that are important to you that we can put into this character, you know? And, and, and we just sit and talk and go, oh, there you go. Some would click, you know, that's not working as, oh my God, there we go. You know, we're, there's a, whether it's PTSD, survivor's guilt, or you know, issues with fatherhood abandonment, um, it, was, it was a beautiful way to work through the script. One of the things I love about Mike Ben is that he's a step up guy. A and step a, up? Yeah, a step up person. Okay. He's, okay. He steps in. He steps in. After the Malibu fires, um, you put together a fundraiser. I think you made 20 million, sorry, 2 million for people in need, real yeah. people. Um, so is that a quality that's always been part of your personality? Did something happen when you were young that makes you want to step up? Um, I don't, maybe that's just my family values, you know, I think that I had a good upbringing, you know, is to always try and do the right thing. I come from Scotland, I feel like Scottish people are very, there's a lot of courage in there. And um, so, yeah, I feel like I've, I've always been there to, to step in. Unfortunately, a lot of the fires normally are ones that I cause and then I have to put out and I'm like, oh God. I heard a guy once say, you know, I run out of my house and all the people are there and, I, it, and my house is on fire and I go, huh, see? And it's like, <laughs> yeah, you started the fire, but you're kind of like. There's a whole conversation I could go into about that um, starting fires, but um, I've never interviewed you for television, and doing research, I realized you've done Shakespeare, Phantom of the Opera, action, all of these genres. Mm. Um, and then just recently, three really character study pieces, Hunter Killer, Den of Thieves, and Keepers. Mm -hmm. um, why don't you take, because those are mid-sized budgets, mm -hmm. and they seem to be disappearing. Why don't you take those to television like so many of your peers? I don't have a have an issue with with taking those to television. It's kind of sad right now, as you know, you make these movies, you put so much into them, and you then you you realize you don't necessarily have the budget to to you know the P and R budget. Um, so um, we will like there's movies now that are similar to the ones you're talking about that we talk to Netflix about and. My only thing with that is sometimes when you make a movie for Netflix, it comes out with 60 other movies the same weekend, you know, and it kind of can just dis disappear. I still love being able to make movies for the cinema, but I'm not averse to, you know, making content for TV. Thank you very much. Always a pleasure to speak to you. I was hoping you had a joke for me, but that's all right. <laughs> a joke. Hold on, hold on. Do you, want, can, do you want to hear a joke? Hold on, let me think of a joke. Okay, can it, can it, it, it's not a, okay. These two tortoise gang leaders are having a fight. It's two tortoise gangs, right? And they have flick knives and they're fighting each other. And at the, the end of the fight, the police come and they take away a witness and they take him to the police station and they say, okay, take us through it. Tell us what happened. And they go, I don't know. I mean, it all happened so fast. <laughs> Thank you very much.